helping you grow your small account. This is the series, guys, and today I can't believe we are episode seven. Today I'm here to give you Euro USD update. I have told you in other episodes that we had this possible double top. Can you see this possible double top? This possible double top, uh, it is OPT. It is not on the daily. And I have been looking at it for a very long time. And finally, guys, we broke our half. So if you have not been following, I want to give you the hands up. We have this Euro USD that is OPT that has broken half on four hour. So when once one uh, half was broken here, half was broken, uh, let's measure again. I want to know exactly candle that broke our half. So we'll measure, that's how we measure our half if you didn't know. So you can see half broke with this, um, this momentum candle, this is the candle that broke our half, this one, and the market has been dropping. So because we know for sure the market is coming to the neckline, and today is Wednesday, but then there's something I noticed about Wednesday, and I will do a whole video about it. Uh, today being Wednesday, Wednesday is used mostly for retracement, and we have so many news, guys. We have a lot of news on USD. We have like, I think it's FOMO or something. We have like three multiple news. So what I'm seeing, before we go down, it is evidence enough we will go down. And because you guys, you are trying to grow your small account, uh, I told you that majority of people blow account because of retracement. Majority of people know where the market is going, but the entry is the wrong thing. I want you to comment down below if you think you know exactly where the market is going, but every time you enter, you find yourself blowing the account and later the market going the same direction you had predicted. I want you to comment down below if you have ever found yourself in such a situation. And today I want to tell you why. We know the market is selling to the neckline. That one we know for sure. We have 56 pips down, but we are not sure the retracement because the market that cannot just move in a straight line. It will first retrace before it comes down. So what guys I have done, I want to give you the pending orders according to your uh, account where you should put the pending orders. And I have three pending orders here and I'll tell you why I have chosen these three pending orders. Um, and these three pending orders, you should put them according to your account. And I'm insisting, put them according to your account because there are people who have big accounts, there are people who have small accounts. So it's you to understand where is my where is my trades, uh, where is my capital, what is my capital, so that you can be able to get the right uh the right setup. So the first, the first, uh, uh, but we we want to sell the first sell order. I want it to be at, and I will show you why I have chosen those places. So I want first to delete these zones. So the first place I would think this market will come to, it is zero point one point zero zero seven hundred one point zero seven hundred, and I'll tell you why. Because this is the candle that broke, guys. You see, that is where, you see, this candle is the one that broke. This is the, what broke the market. Ah, supposed to draw like this. This is what was used to break that half. Most probably the market will come and retrace above it. So if I go to lower time frame, like three hours, uh, I'm trying to see what is happening in the lower time frame. You will see there is something. There was some a support resistance, like the market really struggled. You can see there was a support created. That is the area, guys. If I still go to 15 minutes, you can see we have this zone. This is a very strong zone, and this is where we are putting our first sell limit. So your first sell limit, guys, uh, I want to show you how I want to show you how you can 
maximize on this profit because when there is news, you don't want the retracement and, and then you blow your account. So the first, uh, this one is for everyone. If you want to trade Euro USD, we are putting at we are putting it at 1.0700. That is your sell limit, guys. Your sell limit. And this is for people with small accounts. Sell limit. If now your account is big enough, I will continue adding other limits. The second limit I will give you, the second sell limit is 0 1.015. So the first limit is 0, 1.0, uh, 700, the second limit. And the second limit is for those people with at least a bigger account, 0. 0. 1.0715. And then the other one, the last one, I will only, only give three limits. The last one is 1.0740, guys. So the reason why I'm taking 0. 0.740 is because you can see this is our highest point. Can you see this is our highest point? The market tend to come back to the highest point. Don't be fooled because half has been broken. Retracement cannot happen. Retracement happens every single day. So if you have a big account, and a big account, I mean, if you put three limits, you don't have a problem because between 1.0700 to 1.0740 is just 40 pips away. If 40 pips away, let's say the first trade is activated. If your account cannot mind to be taken on a drawdown of 40 pips, and mind you guys, I have other trades setups on other episodes. So you better subscribe to this channel because this time round, I am giving you everything to do with... um how to grow your small account. So the other limit, guys, is 1.040. And I have told you why we have picked that because this is the highest point of that double top. I don't know if majority of you understand that when the market has told you to sell, it's you to realize when am I selling. And then again, if we look on our left where the market is now, we have an obstacle here. This is an obstacle, guys. So this is to tell you that the market, this is a double top, a double bottom. So the market can activate this double bottom. And guess what? If they activate this double bottom on four hour, they can use this as the neckline. So that is our last point uh, to use as our sell order. So if we measure half, you can see the half is exactly where we are saying 1.0700. And that's the right place to put your first limit, guys. So we don't want anyone to sell immediately. If you're watching these videos, don't have a sell order because today we have so many news. It's better the market to leave you than making you blow your account. Always note that we are here to help you grow the account and we are, we are here to make sure that you understand how the market moves. Uh, you might be chasing these 55 pips and it's not bad if the market won't retrace, but it's better to be prepared and lack opportunity. Rather, you have the opportunity and you never got prepared. So there are three limits here and I'm repeating. Let me recap. The three limits, the three sell limits. If you don't know how to put sell limit, I don't know. Maybe I do a video about it. Comment down below if you don't know. Maybe I will show you practically, but I want to put everything clear. If you have a small account, the only limit you're putting is 1.0700, and that's what I will put on the title. But if you have, if your account is big, you can add the, the second limit, is, which is 1.0715, and the other one is 1.0740. Not 09, it's 40 like that. So you can put 1.0740, 1.0715, 1.7000, guys. And this one, note, note, guys, uh, it is for those people with at least a bigger account who can be able to put three pending orders. For those with small accounts, let's only deal with one pending order. So for me, my thought is, 
Even if half has been broken, this is a double bottom. Don't sell now. Possible, let me even write for you, possible double bottom. So we don't know what the London session will do to this market because London session tends to support a euro. We don't know if the retracement will be quick and I will update you. I will come back. This is episode seven to tell you what now you do because it's like these videos, I'm helping you step by step to be making decisions. Yes, we were waiting for half to be broken. Yes, the market sold, has sold and it's not many pips. And that's how you find yourself you are given like 20 pips. You are waiting for the market to go down to the neckline. Then again, the market has retraced. You give up. And then later you see the market at the neckline. The reason is the retracement is what they use to mess up with your mind. So when you get tired, you're, you're thinking, ah, but then this trade will not, will not cut it through. So uh, let me just finish because I have four more videos to update you. Watch all of them place those limits and I and I will place those I will do those videos update after every one hour because I want everyone to to watch and to understand all the best make sure you like this video comment your views by the way if you made money with NZUSD uh, if you made money with GBPUSD if you made money um, yesterday comment down below and if at all these videos are helping you again comment down below make sure you share this video with at least five people will tell them to tell a friend to tell a friend so that we, we are almost hitting 100,000 subscribers. And I'm very sure this month of May, because today is first of May, I'm very sure God has a lot in store for us. And if there's a month that I'll be active in this in this channel, is uh in this is 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 the month of May. And also, guys, don't forget that I have a mentorship program that I charge $400. I also have a one day masterclass that is happening this month. We, we are remaining nine days only. It will be happening on 10th of May on, on Friday next week. The charges is 12,000 Kenya shillings or $100. Also, it will be streamed live so anyone can participate. If you're online, if you're not in Kenya, you can still participate because it will be recorded. That one day masterclass, I am teaching so much. I'll be teaching people risk management, how to trade news, how to have multiple accounts, and the, the best profitable strategy that I have, BWA strategy. All the best, guys. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Love you.